everyone. This is Becky um, with patchworkposse.com. And um, today I thought, you know, Pinterest is a great resource to use. And um, it can be a little bit tricky. Um, but once you get the hang of it and um, you have quick access to it, it's super simple to use this as a um, quilt kind of like a journal, inspiration, ideas, um, you know, it's it's like a mega magazine that you built yourself and you're able to kind of sort it, put it into categories or boards and um, use it for quick reference and grabbing, you know, pictures or grabbing um, tutorials that you've liked in the past. So today I thought I would just go over, you know, just kind of quickly a base of, of how it works and how I use it, <coughs> excuse me, and um, how you can get it going for yourself. So to start off, if you just type in um, Pinterest.com, that is P-I-N-T-E-R-E-S-T.com, um, it, it will come up with this page and it says welcome to Pinterest and you can see in the background there's lots of pictures and images and it's a yummy place to be. Um, you can drop your email and create a password and continue or they do have easy, easy login so you can continue with your Facebook or with your Google account. Since I already have an account I'm not going to show you um, how to set it up or anything. It's pretty straightforward and it does everything for you. It does ask you some questions. If you're a him or a her and your interests and stuff, it is a curated board that um, they change how they present items to you. And so make sure you mark those interests. Otherwise, you'll get a bunch of like kind of crazy stuff that you might not be interested in. So in the top right, they've got a log in. Um, so after you become a member, it's free to join. Don't worry about that. Um, then you can just log in for future reference. So I'm just going to close that one out and then um, okay so here we are on my page and this is after you log in it'll show you how many followers you have, how many you're following. If you want you can fill out your um, like author information. You do not have to have a blog um, you can easily set this up for individuals and so it's super simple and it's not, it's not a big deal, but you, it's free, no blog needed. Um, okay, so this is what it looks like when you log in. There's, um, two different tabs I'm going to talk about. Um, I'm not going to talk about the tried, but I'm going to talk about the pins and I'm going to talk about the boards. First of all, we'll start with the boards. This is how you create categories for the things that you want to bookmark or save for later. Um, so if you look on the left hand side, there's a big red plus, bu plus um, button and it says create board. And if you click on this, you can give it a name. This option is a secret. So this means that, yes, I want to hide it from everyone only I can see it. Um, this is really handy if you're making a list for gifts or, um, you know, presents or something like that, or, you know, a 5,000 hairstyles that you love, but you don't want everybody to see the hairstyles that you love. So you want to hide the board. This is how you do it. So just go ahead and name the board and then choose whether or not you want to be secret and then you create it that is it. When it's done, it will become one of these. So here's the name of the board and it shows how many pins. If you see this circle in the left hand corner, it means that more than one person um, have permission to save something to that board. Not, so it's called a group board. Not all the boards are like that. So the boards that I own um, there's only one or two that I allow others to save items onto it. Otherwise, they're all my personal picks. So, um, so this is my board. It's there's it's sewing, and then um, it relates to bags and pouches. I've got 826 pins on it. Um, 
So this is what my board looks like. It's got the title at the top. If I want a quick description, I can do that. And then, of course, my face shows here. If there's more than one person who is allowed to um, pin to this board, then more faces will show. Um, let's see, right there. So this has ooh, 597 people pin things to this board. So that's a lot of pins going up there, but it's got a good amount of followers in there, so that's why. Okay, so back to the board. So, um, so I'm going to pick, let's see, and Pinterest just recently changed the layout. You used to be able to control and move move boards where you want them to go, which it still works, but for some reason it defaults back to the beginning, which is kind of a pain. But anyways, okay, so I'll go to my quilting and my fat quarter projects. All of these that I have saved in here have to do with fat quarter projects. So choosing your boards and building them as like a catalog of specific topics you want is the greatest way to build like your quilting inspiration journal and um, boards. So you can see, I'll go back to my main. I'll kind of try to see if I, okay, so I've got a quilting one. This is paper piecing. I've got a sewing one. It's all pin cushions, sewing pillows. This is another quilting one. This is quilting blogs. So it doesn't necessarily go to a specific um, tutorial or pattern or picture. It goes to their whole blog site. Quilting, I've got medallion quilts. Video tutorials, that's a good one. I've got some on plushy animals. Um, quilting with hexagons. Quilting as you go technique. So you could have, I think I've got another one in here of applique. Here's one specifically for machine quilting. For different sew-alongs I might be interested in doing. Um, and then of course, you know, it breaks out into other stuff. So I do have style and fashion, holidays. I do some, have some home decorating with the girls room, boys room, business and blogging. I've got party ideas, um, cutting machines. And then at the very bottom would be my secret board. So I'm not going to scroll further because they're my secret boards. But you can see that, um, they are just at the bottom of the heap. I only have a few in like healthy eating. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And then um, I started a new board called Quilting Supplies, but I don't have much in there quite yet. So I'm still still finding things to put into there. So anyways, that is all about Pinterest boards. So that kind of gives you a good idea of how you can set yours up specifically for your interests. Um, for things that you might want to try in the future or things that, you know, to remind you. I've got one in here that's like sewing tips. So, um, oh, sewing tutorials and tips. This one is, has more than one person that's posting to there. So that's a great resource. I've got another one, sewing tips for beginners. That one is ones that um, I am pinning to that board or saving for later. These are quick tips, you know, glue, you know, folding, ironing, things like that. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a specific um, tutorial or pattern or design. Um, just like in that, the one near the bottom was um, the quilting supplies. So if I find something fun and interesting that they I can use as a supply for my quilting or to make it easier, I would put it into there. All right, and then back up at the top, we've got pins. And if I click on this, this shows me what I have pinned recently. You can see I was on a hair kick. Um, and cleaning. And fun tutorials, thread storage. So these are things that I personally have saved in one of the boards. Um, so... Um, this is a kind of a quick log and overview of everything that you saved to your boards. While clicking onto the boards, you can go individually into there and see what you have saved. Now let's talk about where you find things to save. So if you click on the red P for Pinterest, it takes you to their main site. Now because I have been doing hair, of course there's gonna be hair showing up. 
but then you'll see that I've got a lot of sewing things in there. Now remember, okay, I this is something that maybe somebody has um, paid to put in that spot. So sometimes you will find some things that are a little funky and weird and you're like, mm, what? Like this one well, right here, the Lunchables um, or the um, Oreida, the potatoes, those are more than likely um, ads. It doesn't mean it goes to a bad place. It just means that, you know, it's not necessarily something that you would pin for later, but you might be interested. It's just their ad placement. Okay, so say I'm scrolling through and, oh my gosh, I'm really, I'm loving this. So this is so spectacular. I can see that this was saved from Robert Kaufman. I can visit the link if I try, if I'd like to. Um, here's any comments that maybe have been made about it. And then related pins. So these might have come from Robert Kaufman. These might have been quilting related or color design, something like that. So I look at this and I think, oh my gosh, I really want to save that for later. So I need to make sure I'm logged into Pinterest. And then at the top right, I can click save. Um, it did used to say pin. Now it says save. So now it says... Um, I can click on here and I can make this um, comment my own. So love the colors, layout, and the rainbow effect. There we go. Um, and then I could be like, would be great for a baby quilt. That might remind me that that's kind of what I was thinking about when I saw it. Oh my gosh, I was looking for baby quilts. This is perfect. And then my comments of, I love that color. I love that layout. So don't be afraid to override what's written in there. Um, or if what's written fits, then just go ahead and leave it. All my boards are going to be on the right hand side and I can scroll through them and find the one that I think would fit. Or I can type in and it will go ahead and narrow down um, my options. Now I know I have a quilting one that's patterns and design. This didn't say it was a, for a tutorial so I don't want to mark it to a tutorial one. Um, I just really am drawn to it by the pattern and the design. So this is the board I'm going to put it to and I'm going to just hover over that click on saved. It tells me it's been saved and then it says hey you might also like if I'd like to see it. Now Later on, so I'm going to close this with the X. I'm going to go back to my profile. And, and right in the pins, I can see that I just recently pinned this. So you can click on the image and it will take you to the site. Or I can go to my boards. And let me see if I can find, that's the tutorial one. Let me see if I can find it really quick. Patterns and designs right here. So it's the most recent um, images that you have saved to your boards are going to show up at the top. First one on the left. So, um, you know, so I went off and I was sewing for a little bit. I'm like, oh, I need to look at that again. What does that look like? I can go directly to my board, directly to the pin, and then I can click it. And it will take me directly to that pattern. Now look at this one is for a kit so I can buy this as a kit. Um, I can download the pattern. So and it opened into a new window so I didn't lose my spot. I don't have to use my back arrow. I can go directly back over to the tab and then if you look they've got more for me to look at if I scroll down. If I am done with that pin I hit the X button and it goes back. Now, so that is how you find, um, you know, and overall, this is what Pinterest is going to feed to you. Now, if you have something specific you're looking for, so maybe I'm going to type in rainbow quilt tutorial, and I'm going to hit the search. Now, here I'm going to find lots of images of rainbow quilt. And when I hover over it, if you see where my um, hand is pointing, it's going to be the link of to where this image will take you. This is going to take you to an Amazon link, which is fine because, you know, people sell things and 
It's a great resource as well to find supplies. Um, what you do want to be careful on is um, some of the links look a little bit suspicious and they don't make sense and so try not to click on those because they might go to bad places. But be aware that this will show you where, um, where it's going to be taking you. Now this one says uploaded by users. So this means that it's not a link. I'm not going to go anywhere except to the image. A person has uploaded directly into Pinterest this picture. So um, that is how you use the search. So we can go ahead and narrow it even down further and say, oh, for a baby quilt. And then again, I'm going to come up, it's going to come up with um, lots and lots and lots of fun projects. If I love something, um, Stitch Reed Gree Doc, she's cute. This is way cute. I want to try, you know, orange peel patterns. This is so fun. I'm going to do it. So I'm going to save this. Oh, there's only numbers here. So um, really, I'm going to override this. And so really want to try the orange peel pattern. And then I'm going to put it into, again, my patterns and designs. All right. Now, this is all within Pinterest. Now, say I am at a site. I'm going to go to my own because it's, it's easy that way. Okay. Um, this tutorial is how to paint barn quilt blocks. This was so much fun. Oh, my gosh. We did this in our quilt group, and it was a lot of fun. So um, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I read the information. Oh, I really want to try this. So I can either hover on it and see um, it's not working for me. There we go. This, um, the save button has come up so I can click it. It'll pull it up again. I can edit this and choose a board it to go to. I can also, if you um, see up at the top, we've got share on Pinterest. Now this picture is picked by the post, so you don't have really in control over what is going to be pinned. So um, the hover button is a little bit easier that way, so you can choose which picture we want. Same idea though, you can edit your description and pick your um, board. So that is how you find information from other websites. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. We'll go ahead and answer. And then um, I sure hope you find it useful. I really do like Pinterest. They also have just quick a um, an app for your phone. So you can download it and then save things on the go as well. As well. And they do have um, an extension that you can put on like Chrome browser for your computer. So it will be a little P up at the top on the menu bar of your Chrome window and you can click that. It'll pull up different images and you can choose from there what you um, want to pin. And while um, I'm standing or while I'm looking here, look at how cute this one is. So I got to pin that one. Yeah. And it says it's a pattern. So I can type in tutorials for, oh, it's a quilt tutorial. So I'm going to pin it to that one. Awesome. So again, if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer. Or if you have any suggestions or how you use Pinterest, um, that would be fun to drop us a drop us a line and let us know how you do that. Um, you can follow me on Pinterest. I'll have a link in the description and on the blog post. But um, you can find it at Patchwork Posse from Pinterest. So until next time. Enjoy browsing and pinning and hopefully sewing some of the things that you find and we will see you later.